the moment, right now, these <clears throat> are my selection of thin brushes. You can see the evolution here where I started shaving this one down <laughs> so that I could have uh, a, you know, and it's, that actually worked pretty well. Uh, and then my first one that I actually got that was slim, I think this came with a kit. This came with a whole bunch of brushes together. Uh, and then these came as a set. And I think for drawing the ribbon, I might start with this. But also, if all else fails, we have one of these. <laughs> oh, well, actually, we have quite a few different sizes of these. And these are just daughters, but we can also use those to fill in small spaces sometimes. So I got these colors together to do this. And I think we're going to end up having to create a color or two here. All right. So all of this is HEMA free. Uh, you can still have allergic reactions when you're using HEMA free products, but the HEMA free aspect of it is um, one of the main allergens that you can get. Now this is a new color that I just had delivered from Amazon. If you want to take a look at the box and the instructions, you can pause here. And here's the back of the box. Is there anything you might need to know? And then there we go. This brand is called Canny. If I'm spelling it correctly or pronouncing it correctly, I should say. And this bottle is really something. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? All right. And the color is pretty. Uh, this is the color that we got for this. So we'll be trying some of that out. All right, and then what we wanna do is a support ribbon. I did the ombre for this finger last night. Oh, I can see that I, there's a little area I didn't clean up quite right. But anyway, this I did uh, last night and then the colors for the support ribbon that we want to do are green, which I'm kind of thinking to mix these two to get the right kind of green, and pink. And then I want to come in and see what I can do to make a teal with these three colors, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then I think what we can do is, if I start, especially like if I start with this white, color here. I think that we can draw the whole symbol right on the finger just to kind of get us started. And then I'm just going to keep striping it with the different colors until it's finished. So, <clears throat> all right, let me see how this works. I don't know. I don't know. I have no expectations. I don't normally do a lot of art on my nails. We'll see if I can get this right. So we need a V. Like I said before, we need a V. Uh, okay, <laughs> kind of a tall V. And then we need a little thing here, a little thing here. And I think I'm working with too much. Uh, yeah, this is way too much. Okay, <laughs> and here's what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna keep fixing my mistakes until I get this right. But what you do, anytime you have a mistake with gel polish, you can just take some rubbing alcohol, at least 70% isopropyl alcohol, but I'm using 91%, I think, and it just comes right off and you can start it. <laughs> I think my problem is honestly that I'm not thinning out my brush enough like anyway the reason i'm using white instead of black is because white leaves the color more true whereas black tends to have this effect on the color so i'm not going to outline this in black not until maybe the end if it needs it all right let's try this again
All right, so again, <laughs> the angle is a little odd. Okay, so then this comes down like that and this. I think I might just have it go right off the nail like that and then like so. Oops. This brush is quite long because <laughs> it has another brush on the other end so it's kind of a long brush. All right and then this side if I pull through here, and then this side here, you know, I don't think I went out enough. Yep. Yep, that's better. I'll leave a link to Miss Joe's nail co below. Uh, I didn't mean to make that all poetry, but that's hey, all right. All right, so there's our pink ribbon, so to speak. It's not done yet, but I'm gonna clean it up a little and then I'm gonna cure it. I just use a little rubbing alcohol on one of these pads and very gently clean the brush. Not trying to pull at anything. Just trying to get rid of that color there. All right. And then letting it dry. So, okay. I think we're gonna stripe it this way along the top. And then we're just gonna follow the ribbons direction. So, wish me luck. Three colors on this thing, huh? The last time I did this, it was just one color. I was just using a color, but we'll see how this works. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get all these colors and, okay, so we're gonna go around the outside with this. Right? I don't know. I'm gonna have to clean some of this with a little rubbing alcohol. Okay. All right, let me clean this up. The reason I have a wrist brace on one hand is because I have like a repetitive motion, uh, old, old wound. So I'm just gonna go over the white with the pink and see how that works. I hope you can even tell that there's a pattern by the time I finish this. I'm fairly new at all of this. So this is all just experimental to me. I know better for next time, but I think I should have gone around the inside with the pink. I don't know, never done this before, but now we can try this canny green. I really like this green. I thought maybe I should make it more green green, but I think this will do nicely. So same type of thing. I'm just gonna go, oh, I'm gonna try to get a small piece on here for this kind of striping. All right. I feel like maybe I can just color in this middle part and then use the green along the other white. We'll see.
Oh boy, this is so tiny. I'm glad I got my new bifocals for this. <laughs> Clean, I can clean that little part. I love this green. It's like a spring time kind of green. So pretty. I have to clean some of this off. Okay, let me sharpen some of these lines here. That's kind of more like it. Okay, and then there's this little swoosh here that I don't like how it turned out. Uh... Okay, let's cure it. All right, well, I switched out where the pink was. It made more sense for me if it folds this way. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see how this works. Also, Molly, if you can hear in the background, Molly is making some really cute puppy noises. All right, so the next color is green, and that's what this is. So then the problem becomes teal, and I ordered a teal. It's a really pretty teal, but it has some Hema in it. But uh, that said, I don't think we're going to get very close to the skin. But look at this teal. It's kind of green, though. So I'm not really sure if it's, I don't know, if it's aquamarine enough. So I think this might be a little too dark. Plus, I'm not sure. I think this has uh, a bit of Hema in it. So we're going to set that aside. And we're going to just make our own teal, right? Okay, so we're going to set down a bit of green. And some blue. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> this blue. Okay, and again, we're using these candy colors. I've never really used, I've never worn them before. So this is sort of an all-around experiment with this. So I think, let's see how this works. We'll see. Because this is as green as I want to go, maybe. This here, this green. So we'll see. Oh dear. It's just blue. That blue like took over. You know, I might be just a little bit colorblind, though. I wouldn't be surprised. My husband often sees, like, he said that this pink is purple to him. Let me know. Do you see pink or purple there? Because uh, maybe I'm doing an entirely different support ribbon than I'm intending to do, which embarrassing. But okay, I can I could live with that. All right, so a little more green here. Because... Yeah, we don't we don't want this to be blue blue. We want it to be like a teal blue. Maybe I'll add a little yellow if this isn't quite right. I don't know. I don't want to spread it out too much either. So that's teal compared to this green. Oops. <laughs> I touched it. Of course I did. I was, you know, I can get that off with alcohol, but remember to always wash your hands pretty good. Like I use a little scrub brush afterwards before I do my, um, uh, my cuticle oil. So yeah, <laughs> if you get any on your skin, make sure you wash afterwards. Okay. I think that that's teal. I think that's a kind of a pretty teal. And so let's do, let's do this. I'm excited. Let's see here. I'm just going to cover up all that white. And there's the first teal spot. Okay. 
and then I think it's got to come down to here and here. How we doing? It's looking kind of green to me. Okay, but you know, I'm happy to be here <laughs> at this point. I'm going to cure this and we'll be right back. Okay, then that's how it cured. I may want a little thicker down here. Oh, we did it. Oh, wait, we're missing one little spot here. Oh, I'm glad I had my bifocals fixed. I'm always doing little roly polies on the floor. It's so cute. Okay, let me clean this up before I cure it because this little spot right here should be pink. Yep. Same with the other side. Oh no, I just covered it up more. Let's see if I can use this dotting tool. Nope, that's not better. That's worse. Okay. Let me try to get this off. I'm gonna cure the rest and then fix this. All right, there we go. And then we just have that one little section left. And that's right in here. Again, super happy I got my bifocals. My new bifocals are being amazing for this. Okay, there, we got a little arch on it even. And then I'm just gonna wipe, not even using alcohol, just a dry little towelette wipe there. There, that's, those are the colors. And I'll cure and be right back. Just the last little cleanups, little areas I think I might have missed. Okay, I think that's done. One more small cure, and then I'm going to lightly buff. I don't even know if I should. I think I'm just gonna top coat this. <laughs> so, one more cure uh, in the lamp. And then, let's see here. I'm gonna use this. Of course, I need to clean my brush first. And then here's my trusty old Beatles <laughs> uh, buffer. I've had this thing like since I started doing gel nails. It came with like my very first kit. But I don't want to take too much off. I just want to take the shine off before I do the uh, top coat. That's all. So we're just working on taking the shine off without the polish off. Yeah. Because... That's a thing that can happen. Give it back its shine. Oh, that looks really nice with this sh with this top coat over it. There we go. Very nice. And this is a no wipe top coat by Amelie. Again, it's HEMA free. So this is the final reveal of what we've got with the shiny coat. Uh, so that's how you do support ribbon, nail art, uh, if you're brand new at it like I am. Have a great day and please be kind to yourself and others. Bye.